What's up, YouTube? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video here. And the reason being is that, you know, straight to the point, man. Like, everybody's problem in this game. It's skill-based matchmaking, man. Um, I'm not having fun with this game. Um, it's just... Damn, it sucks, because, you know, coming into Cold War, I had, you know, high expectations for the game. You know, uh, literally in the beta, I only played for two days, because... Uh, I was really busy around the month of September because I recently moved out of my parents' place and I got my own apartment. So I, I was basically, when the beta came out, I was busy with, you know, moving in, you know, boxes and just settling in my new apartment. And so I didn't, I didn't have enough time to play the beta. But within the time or the, the days that I played, I only played, let's say, for like two days for, of the beta and I managed to drop four nuclears in the beta. And coming into Cold War, you know, I was, I had high expectations for the game. Like, bro, your boy just managed to drop four nuclears in two days of the beta. I like, this is, this is going to be, you know, a dope ass Call of Duty year. And then the full game comes out and literally the first couple of days, you know, this is like the first couple of weeks. Um, I start getting matched with professional players. If you guys don't know, professional players like Hook, professional players like like Shotzi, I was playing against Attach, and it was getting, like, I was kind of like, what's going on here? Why am I playing against professional players? You know, I'm playing against Hook and Shotzi. They literally won a CDL championship ring, like, last year for the Dallas Empire. How am I playing against these professional players, bro? What are you trying to say, Activision? What are you trying to say? You trying to, <laughs> you trying to say I'm a, I'm, a pro, I'm a pro player, dude? Damn, dude. I'm flattered, but I'm not a pro player, dude. I'm just a full-time DoorDash delivery driver, dude. Why am I playing against these full-time professional players that get paid at least, I don't know, probably like 60000 on salary plus, you know, you know, endorsements and sponsorships and even winning a million dollars in the freaking CDL, you know, final game, you know, like what's, what's going on? Hopefully, I have some evidence to back what I'm saying because I think I did have, I think I clipped me playing against Shotzi in attach. I'm like, how how am I playing against these professional players, man? I don't understand. So at that point, I knew something was wrong, man. Uh, like, uh, why am I playing against these professional players, bro? I'm just a casual Call of Duty player that is, you know, <laughs> you know, he, who's pretty good at the game. I'm not gonna lie, man. Anywho, man, the gameplay in the back you're seeing is the daily. The, the this is me playing Call of Duty on a daily basis, man. After work, I hop on, and this is <laughs> literally the first game that I hop on into. Uh, I think this is my second or third game. Uh, I recently unlocked Diamond Camel for the Soul Rifles. I'm like, let me just use the Krig. All professional players are using the Krig, and it's, I guess, it's the meta, because that's how you have to do it here in Call of Duty. You got to use meta weapons in order to, you know, you know, perform pretty well in the game. And that's what's, I don't know, that's what's killing the vibe for me. You know, I'm trying to use some goofy class setups. You know, just run around with, I don't know, do wheel pistol. Just trying to have fun with the game, but you know, I just can't. Uh, I just can't do that. You got to use metal weapons in order to have fun in this game. So right now, I'm just slaying in here. I got a 17 kill streak. Uh, I got a harp in the sky. And, you know, I'm still trying to get my nuke. I still haven't dropped the nuke, guys. Boy, it's been like, what, three months since the game has been released? And I still haven't managed to drop a nuclear, man. <sighs> but there's been so many nuke attempts where I was one off from a nuke. And I just, somehow your boy just ends up just choking nukes, man. And it's really frustrating, man, just because... You know, I used to drop nuclears in Black Ops 4, like, you know, it was nothing. I feel like Black Ops 4 was, a, like, the last game uh, into, like, it was the last game into, like, this whole new generation of Call of Duty where we have SPM now, you know, SPM and Modern Warfare. That's the reason why I stopped playing it. Also, because Modern Warfare has some weird movement. It did not feel like Call of Duty. That's why I had to skip a whole year of Modern Warfare because, damn, bro, <laughs> Modern Warfare was not <laughs> the year for me. I had to skip that. And coming to Black Ops Cold War, you know... I was pumped, dude. Like, this feels like a Call of Duty for me. I don't know. Just, I was really excited for Cold War. And then, like anything, anybody who's facing in this community, just SBM just kicks in. And that just takes the fun out of it, you know? Anywho, man. If you guys are having any concerns, this is what a 2KD non-reverse boosted account looks like, man. I haven't reverse boosted in this game. I, I don't think I've ever reverse boosted in my, I guess, my quote-unquote career here in YouTube on YouTube like I've never reverse boosted in Black Ops 4 you know I never heard the term reverse boosting until like three months ago until like all these youtubers started coming out the closet saying yeah I've been reverse boosting and I'm like what the hell is reverse boosting so I had a Google search you know go on YouTube and like what's reverse boosting what are these what are these kids talking about about reverse boosting and and basically 
you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I felt played, you know, I felt played as a small content creator because, you know, back in Black Ops 4, like, I used to put six hours, eight hours trying to get a nuclear gameplay. I bet you guys are saying that, and then you're trash then. I'm like, no, it's just like, I don't know, it took me six hours to get a nuke, or two, three, four. But, you know, it all makes sense how these YouTubers were getting these fast nuclear gameplays. And they were, you know, literally, let's say a new gun comes out for Black Ops 4. And literally, after an hour, the, the gun has been released to the public. They already have a gameplay with nuclear and, and best class setups. I'm like, how do you guys have this? And then it all makes sense because, oh, yeah, they've been reverse boosting. And, you know, pff, I'm over here putting eight hours while, you know, K3 puts like one hour. He already has, he already has a freaking video up. So I'm like, oh, it all makes sense now. How oh, I guess the business side of this Call of Duty community works. Sorry if I sound mad, but but I I'm just frustrated. Uh, I honestly, guys, if you guys can hear my voice, I'm really frustrated with this game, and I I, I honestly believe me, guys. I tried my best trying to do this legitly, like you know, hop, you know, just playing with the skill-based matchmaking, hoping I could drop a nuke. And, you know, bring you guys some entertaining content. But, man, dude, it's just really hard. And it's really stressing. Like, damn, bro. Like, why why are these lobbyists sweatier than CDL matches, bro? Like, why? Like, this is just pubs. I thought this was supposed to be casual Call of Duty. You know, like, game. Why am I trying so hard, bro? Like, it's really frustrating, you know? It's like, it's not worth it. Um... I, I come back from work, you know, just to, you know, hop on the game, just to de-stress and decompress and just have fun with the game. But, you know, Cold War doesn't provide that, you know. I just hop on the game for an hour or two and then I'm like, well, I'm kind of getting annoyed with this game because <laughs> kids are just been playing for 13 hours straight. And I'm just here, buddy, barely going to start playing and somehow I'm just carrying my team for the win. Uh, that's that, That's another topic too, man. Sometimes my teammates, <laughs> I get, I be having the worst teammates ever, bro. It's like, damn, why am I playing against the sweatiest people? And then my teammates are like, trash. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? This is like the reverse of reverse boosting. I'm doing the opposite. Like, bro, you're, <laughs> I'm getting matched with tryhards while my teammates are like, <laughs> the ones with a 0.0 KD. You know, like, wow. Doesn't make sense, man. But as you can see in the background, man, the gameplay, uh, I'm just somehow shredding. This is barely my second game in. And as you can see from the levels, you know, these are high levels. Uh, 100 plus players, you know, calling the war machine, trying my best, I'm trying to drop a nuke, man. There's been, I think there was like three attempts here where I was going for a nuke, but I just couldn't get the nuke, man. And this is me every day, every day, man. Just trying to bring a nuclear content for you guys, bring you some. I don't know, some entertaining content, just like how I did back in Black Ops 4, but it looks like we we, we might have to do something about this, guys, because SBM, uh, you guys, <laughs> I don't know, aren't aware, but skill-based matchmaking is going to be the future for Call of Duty from now on, guys. Um, it's going to be the, it's sad, but it's going to be the future for Call of Duty for the next iteration of Call of Duty titles that are going to come out, and so... I don't know, man. I, um, I don't really support SBM. Uh, sure, I do support SBM in in a good way, and that is that, you know, I love you know competitive games. You know, I I watch the CDL matches. You know, I watch professional Call of Duty uh you know matches, bro. Like that's really entertaining to watch. And it's, you know, when you're like actually in the game and playing a competitive game, it's like really entertaining. But you know, just coming back from work, you know, full time job, ho hopping on in the game and just you know, it's just, you get tired, it's stressing, um, I don't know, man, it's just, it's to the point where it's like, it's really boring, uh, just to try every game, you know, sometimes, I don't know, back in the day, I don't want to compare it, but like, I don't know, back in the day, I could just hop on Call of Duty and not even think about, you know, which lanes are not covered and, is this kid gonna jump shot, you know, I don't know, just, SBM was it just ruined the game for me man and at this point I'm just really frustrated and as a content creator and you got to think about it as a, as a business thing as well if you're trying to make you know trying to be something on YouTube trying to make you know give it a shot on YouTube you got to think about it as a business man you know you're trying to you know build your brand here on YouTube 
and the number one thing is being consistent and on uploading videos which in black ops 4 i was somewhat semi-consistent and that's why i kind of grew a, an audience you know i started on black ops 4 i started with seven subs and by the end of the year cycle black ops 4 i had like a thousand you know also because swag gave me a shout out that helped a lot but you know being consistent and upload videos you know kind of helped me get to that 1000 mark as well and so me skipping modern warfare man i lost an opportunity to gain traction here on youtube and hope you know i was hoping for cold war to um, you know be that game where i'm not going to skip another year of call of duty because i don't want to miss an opportunity to you know gain more subscribers or you know get my brand out there for you guys to you know be recommended for and i don't know man i just can't really skip another year and i i, I don't think i can do this legitly anymore um and i'm sure i'm gonna give us, i'm giving you guys proof this is this is the gameplays that i'll be playing every day man Thirty thousand score you know this is proof to you guys that eddie can play against you know with with his set of you know against the same set of skill players as me man <laughs> look at this Thirty thousand score 67 kills like i can hang but you know this is on the daily guys and i can't i can't do this anymore so it looks like reverse boosting might be coming sooner than later here in the channel my guys now right now i'm gonna go down the list of the recent players that i played with against and as you can see man these are 200 100 plus players man uh, i'm sure i'm gonna run into players that are like level 40 but damn bro it's this is this is what i play with against every day man I'm barely level 100 and you know I'm facing players against you know who are higher level than me and people who are not that far behind uh, me so it just doesn't really make sense so right now I'm gonna start heading over to my barracks uh, my common record but first let me just uh, be a dumbass and don't know where the <laughs> where my common record is but right now this is I'm showing you guys a list of like my friends list and as you can see on the top, Athena, <laughs> look at her, dude. She has a 2,000 score per minute. <laughs> road, freaking road. Oh, dude, roadkill has a 1,000 score per minute. Oh, you know these, these these motherfuckers be reverse boosting. Hey, don't blame them, man. They're having fun with the game. You know, they're enjoying Cold War. Uh, I wish I can enjoy Cold War. But as you can see, man, like, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. I don't know. It's just weird seeing 853 with the other people who can barely hit 800 score per minute like this is legit man if you guys don't believe me i mean everyone has their own opinion but this is all legit my highest kill streak is a 29 like i still haven't dropped the nuke like i said earlier score per minute 853 and my kd is literally a 2.05 it was a lot higher at the start of call of duty it was like a 2.50 and then as the more games I play, the lower my KD, <laughs> my KD just dropped. Now, probably if I play more, you know, hop on Call of Duty more often, my KD is gonna go down to a at one, you know. So that's gonna be it for today's video, man. I'm probably gonna upload more proof of me playing against players with my same skill, you know, non-reverse boosted lobbies. Because, you know, there's going to be people out there who don't believe me that I haven't burst boosted yet. You know, it's weird that somebody's actually trying so hard to, you know, play with skill-based matchmaking. But, hey man, I don't know. At this point, reverse boosting <laughs> might be a thing for, for this channel. But with that said, man, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys uh, like this video. Make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. But with that said... I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.